what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know it has been a while okay but i'm back some more my hero academia first let me address before we jump into this people you know people have been asking me about um full metal alchemist brotherhood i i, I do want to start that anime i've tried to start it before but the problem is i cannot find a really good hd version of the show somewhere mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I don't I don't even think it's on Crunchyroll. I need to check. But as soon as I'm done here, as soon as I get some time, I'm going to check around. But if you guys have a good source for it, please don't be afraid to send it to me. Go to Discord, send me a link, whatever, post it in the comments under this video or whatever the situation is. I'm just telling you guys this over all the videos because I want you guys to know that I'm struggling with finding a good HD version of this show. Um, you know so if you know somewhere where i can find it um i'll probably go and check nine anime but i don't think i don't even think they have it but whatever the situation is we'll get there soon enough plus it's the dub version that i'm looking for so that that's that's that, another thing too but but anyways my hero academia episodes 1 through 13 was fire um got that great fight at the end in episode 12 all might versus nomu is it nomu i think it's nomu nobu <laughs> whatever that thing was that they made specifically to to um to nullify um all might's powers or whatever um it was great the fields were there the music was there man epic epic time um, go beyond plus Ultraman. Let's jump into this episode 14 and let's see what they got for us. This is a new season, so let's do this, man. Let's go. I know season four has started. Stop bothering me about it. I'm not getting to season four anytime soon. Okay, <laughs> so because we still we just are gonna start season two now. So let's jump into it. It's been a while since I wanted to get back to this. I know. You guys know what's been going on. I don't need to explain myself again. So let's go do this, man. My Hero Academia episode 14. And I will see you guys for the review. Okay. Well, you guys don't need me to tell you that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed those episodes right you see the joy on my face watching something i haven't been this excited about an anime in a very long time like this excited because you guys have seen me watch um it's been it's been months since i've been this excited because i was super excited Th the thing about with the hunter hunter experience it was such a it, w it was such a well-written story and anime that you really had to to really get into it, understand what the dialogue was saying, the characters were, were um, some of them were really complex, so it was, um, it was an experience, you know what I'm saying, overjoyed, there was, you know what I'm saying, at, at points it was, it was extremely serious, it was very hard for you to be like so super joyous and stuff like that, like you really had to, the tone the, the the tone of it was so well done you know what i'm saying but with my hero academia it's such a as i said before it's such a feel good anime that you have no other place to go you feel you get the feels in certain moments you know what i'm saying and for for, for most of it you just feel happy you feel giddy you know what i'm saying to watch it because you're, you're like you're watching this character you know you're watching his story from me, you know what I'm saying, for a little bit before he got his quirk, his history and stuff like that, into um, what he's becoming, you know, he said this is a story of him becoming the greatest hero ever, so we are here for that journey, and man, oh man, oh man, this festival, my guy, first competition to race outside of the stadium, man, off the chain, oh, this, this it's crazy it's crazy and they do it they doing it in such a great job the animation i've never you, you know you've seen great animation early on in anime but this one they really turned it up a notch in season two you know what i'm saying like they they really turned it up a notch because so far these three episodes were spotless they're they're spotless there was no point at all where i was like taken out of it 
um, based on fluidity or anything like that. It was, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Like everything was on point. They really, really went in. You know what I'm saying? I can imagine after the popularity of season one that they must have gotten a bigger budget for season two because that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like if you want to, you, you know, comparison when it comes on to money wise, you can compare um, it to like Game of Thrones. Like Game of Thrones budget, the increase over every season is astronomical you get what i'm saying so they get to do more things more special effects stuff like that so with anime it's the same thing goes you know what i'm saying when you're doing series and stuff like that if the series is very popular you get more money to do the next season i.e um stuff like the the flash tv show the, uh, the arrowverse if you want to call it that um, so they get more money as it becomes more popular, as it decreases in popularity, then the budget kind of takes the time to come back down to earth. So it's, that's how it is. So with anime studios, it's the same way. If the, if the, if the, if it's doing good, sometimes they do mess up and get lazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I.E. One Piece super late is one of the laziest studios that's that's doing anime today they do i think they do they did dragon ball super 2 if i'm not mistaken i think they did dragon balls i'm not I'm, I'm not sure don't quote me on that but the studio that does one piece is the laziest studio i've ever seen do anime maybe there's lazier ones out here but it was what i've seen they're super lazy and they really only show up in super big moments. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for big fights and stuff like that. Um, so you never really get that sense of urgency. You know what I'm saying? Where they want to bring it. I'm not saying animation studios to go out of their way to give a spotless animation for every episode. They can't afford to do that. So I'm not expecting it. But there's certain things, certain moments that you would have loved to see great animation and you just don't get it. And they just, they, 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 they don't do it. Because if you're following the, 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 the manga, right? If you're following the manga and then you're waiting for those specific episodes to be animated and then you're, 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 you're disappointed. And that happened a lot with One Piece for me. So it's just how it is. So... When it comes on to this, man, they're doing a great job. Obviously, as I said before, they have a bigger budget. It's so obvious, it's ridiculous. Um, if you're going to compare the animation from the beginning of this season to the beginning of season one, like, it's night and day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you have the same, the, the color palette is great, but the detail that they're putting into season two, like, season one didn't have that. So... Man, but I'm enjoying this so very much, man. But so now Deku is in trouble for winning. But it's so good to see him win without using his quirk. But from a business perspective, he still needs to show his quirk. If, you know, because I mean, these organizations are looking to see why should I have you representing my organization as a hero, as a psychic, whatever you want to call it. Why should I hire you? Why should I be paying you money out? You can't just be out here using beer knuckles. You know what I'm saying? You're not going up against robots all the time. So is, you're not going to always be in that situation. We need to see what your perk, what your quirk can do. So I do understand it from that perspective, but it's good for him to know when to use his quirk because he cannot con control it yet. It's good for him, as I said during the episode. So, I like that. But this is awesome. I love this anime so far. So I'm falling in love with it. Um, you know what I'm saying? And it's good that I'm not, like, binge-watching it. It's good that I'm not binge-watching it because you don't want that feeling to go away. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that feeling to go away. Like, it's just like a lot, a lot of times, like, I will take, like, breaks in between reactions because you see, you want to come back and remind yourself, you know, what's so enjoyable about it. So when I don't watch anime for uh, uh for, for five days to a week, it's like I'm jonesing. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm jonesing. It's like I want it. 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 I need it now. I need it now. I need it now. So it's like, you know, so in that situation, a lot of times, man, it's it's good um for me you know um not that it's something that i'm going to do very often but it's it's it just feels so good to come back and be able to sit down and watch some more anime um um 
with y'all you know what i'm saying so thank you guys so much hope you guys enjoyed the reaction remember to like the video also subscribe if you're new leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you thought first time you saw this man and i will catch you guys for the next one peace